Darko Jorkic just won the European Top 16 for the third year in a row. It's no secret that his backhand is one of, if not the deadliest in the world. However, that's not all that comes into play when you try to explain his success. In this video, we'll take a look at how his serve facilitates him into getting a bunch of easy points in a match. If you look at his matches, you see that when he plays a right-hander, he primarily serves backhand serves. More specifically, backhand serves in the forehand part. That is because of the side spin in the serve is turning against their hands, so to say. It's more unnatural and uncomfortable to try and receive those with your forehand. That same reasoning explains why he mainly serves a regular side spin serve when playing left-handers. More specifically, he either wants them to compromise in quality by trying to receive with their forehand, or he wants them to come in with a subpar backhand flick, on which he can attack. And why are the backhand flicks of his opponent subpar? Because of the amount of topspin in his serves whenever he serves like that. He doesn't just deposit the ball on the table, but he really yanks his racket upwards to generate extra rotation, so that his opponents can only put the ball safely on the table without doing anything else extra. His backhand serve is a great tool to set up an attack on a third ball. That is mainly because of the side spin, because your options as a receiver are limited on that serve. Many players try to receive short, but that's not a given since the serve is mostly side spin and many times with top spin. Stepping in with a banana flick is also hard since a long serve once in a while puts the receiver back in his place. And even if they successfully step in with a banana flick, Darko is ready to play a counter spin on that ball. Because he knows that his backhand is mostly covered, because again it's hard to play in the deep corner, the deep backhand, because of the rotation. That's why he stands more in the middle of the table, so that he almost always covers his middle with his backhand, and so that he doesn't have to move to his deep forehand should the ball come there. Simply put, the ball almost always comes in his forehand. On top of that, he can come over the table with his backhand, and this is where many players with that serve don't capitalize. See, if the receiver were to somehow be able to receive short diagonal to Darko's short forehand, it would be hard to push short back with this forehand. The side spin in the serve makes it hard to control, but because Darko is already standing in the middle of the table, he can cover his short forehand with his backhand, and he can control that ball more. Because again, the rotation on that short receive of his opponent would not go against his hand, so to say, if he were to receive with his forehand. But with his backhand, that's not a problem. But because Darko is already standing in the middle of the table, he can cover his short forehand with his backhand and control that ball more, which he doesn't always do by the way. But he's not just limited to pushing back on that short receive, since he's earlier on the ball than most, again because he was already standing in the middle, and he can also play a banana flick on that ball. Very often, the opponent has no option but to really let the ball drop on the short backhand serve in the forehand, in order for them to neutralize the rotation. In that position, that leads to two disadvantages for them. First of all, their options are more limited and more predictable, because it's harder to push long aggressively from that position, and you can't flick the ball anymore either. So there doesn't really remain anything else for the opponent to do but to push short or to push long slowly. And second of all, it gives Jorgic the time to position himself on the ball more. For example, you see in this point, even before Kyle Berg touched the ball, that Jorgic is already moving up over the table to try and finish the point with banana flick. However, you see in this match that in the few examples that Moregard takes the receive on the bounce, Jorgic is caught off guard and only pushes the ball back. So really, this advantage of his backhand serve lays in whenever the opponent has to wait and has to take the ball not on a bounce but a little bit later, because then their options are much more limited. And if you were wondering why he almost never serves that backhand serve down the line, well, there's a good reason for that. If he were to do that, he'd have to move back to his backhand corner to cover it, which leaves his forehand and his middle more open and diminishes the possibility for him to come over the table with his backhand. So that would nullify the advantage that he has of already standing where he's supposed to be standing directly after his serve. 